Imagine being told your loved one needs an emergency transplant surgery and it can only be done on the mainland. And the only way to get there is on a medical flight that costs tens of thousands of dollars. Families have to pay that out of pocket. Well, tonight, an Oahu woman is sharing her story of loss to make sure money doesn't play a role in life or death situations. Alexander Zanes reports. Rodney Tam was a healthy 55 year old deputy attorney general for the state of Hawaii who surfed and lifted weights four times a week. One day he came home not feeling well. First, his family thought it could be a cold or maybe the flu. And two courses of antibiotics at home, he continued to get worse. Um, they, he finally got a chest x ray and they said, go directly to the emergency room. You have pneumonia. Rodney was admitted to the ER and his condition worsened. A once healthy husband and father was fighting for his life. He ended up being intubated for a month, um, heavily sedated on paralytics, so basically in an induced coma for one month. Tammy Tam was told her husband needed a new lung, a procedure that can't be done in Hawaii. Her insurance covered the transplant, but she had to pay for the flight to California on a specialized plane out of pocket. These kinds of flights can run anywhere from $80,000 to $130,000. Because it's not a provided benefit by the insurance companies, the families have to come up with the cash 100% paid in full before they will even start to make any arrangements to bring the teams over. Tammy left her husband's side to get the money together, working with multiple air ambulance companies before finally getting her husband on a plane to the mainland. But by the time everything was in place... The time to coordinate it all, to recognize that this was what he needed, just caused other organs to fail. So he um, ended up having kidney, liver, and lung failure. Rodney Tam passed away on the 4th of July. He never got the lung transplant he desperately needed. Now she hopes that a new measure in the state legislature will help families who are put in the same situation. It would require insurance companies to cover air ambulance transport to the mainland for critical procedures not offered in Hawaii. The burden on the families that are already extremely distressed, um, it, it's just, I, I don't even know how to explain the relief that it would have been if, if the cost of transportation were not an issue. Der Zanes is here with us now. And Alex, what do the insurance companies think about this bill? Well, Marissa, two of the big insurance companies submitted testimony. Kaiser Permanente said it supports the intent, but once an auditor study, HMSA said it knows how important this issue is to its members, and it's working with stakeholders to address concerns and find common ground. Marissa?